Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share my top 10 favorite lipsticks and lip glosses. As you can see, I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now and that's because I'm gonna try all these products that I'm gonna mention on my lips today. I asked you guys on Instagram in what order should I mention all the products and you guys said you want it from cheapest to most expensive. I'm going to mention the price of the products in both pounds and in US dollars. Just so you know, this list is going to be from cheapest to most expensive in pounds. I'm going to leave all the product names and the prices both in pounds and in dollars in the description box below. I didn't include lip liners in this list and I'm not going to use one with all these products. I will tell you if I'm using a lip liner and it's going to be the Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner. The first product is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. This is six pounds or $6.50. It's 8 milliliters or 0.27 ounces. It's available in 36 shades. I'm going to use the lip liner for this one. It's a cream color with a matte finish. It's super lightweight. It really doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. This is good for everyday use because it's not too expensive. It's really lightweight. This is lightly scented. It's maybe like a vanilla. Scent, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's really mild. It's not really something that bothers me. I often use this if I'm going to the store or something and I don't need my lipstick to last all day. The second product is Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Snow Pink. Now, I have the old version, so now this is called Super Lustrous The Gloss. I'm not sure if the formula changed. I think if I read it correctly, the applicator is bigger in the new one and it has a big text here that says the gloss. I'm not really sure what else is different. They do have the same shade still. This is $6.99 in pounds and $8.99 in dollars. This old version has a regular draw food applicator. It's 3.8 milliliters or 0.13 ounces. It's available in 24 shades. It's a sheer pale pink color with like a champagne reflect. This is a really pleasant formula. It's really moisturizing. It's not sticky. I like this by itself. I sometimes use this as a lip balm and I also like this on top of my nude lipsticks. Next on the list is Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Charmer. This is $7.99 in both pounds and in dollars. It's 5 milliliters or 0.17 ounces. It comes in at least 12 shades. It doesn't have a regular doe food applicator. It has like a little hole in the middle. It actually holds a lot more product than a regular doe food applicator. I'm going to use a little bit of lip liner with this. I'd say this is like a darker, dusty rose type of color. The doe food applicator holds a lot of products, so I like that you don't have to keep dipping into the bottle. These are really opaque, so I never use a lipstick under these. Sometimes I like to use the shade Tees, which is a really light nude color on the center of my lips, but I don't use it that often like this because it's a little bit too light, even for my complexion. Definitely a little bit stickier than the Revel one. I don't know if I have really dry lips or what, but this sinks into my lips really fast. So the shine doesn't stay on my lips that long, but the color does. So on me, eventually, this just kind of turns into a regular cream finish lipstick. I feel like you can already kind of see that it's not as shiny as it was when I first applied it. This is another really great option if you have dry lips. Next on the list is Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Loyalist. This is £9.99 or $9.49. It's 5 milliliters or 0.17 ounces. It comes in at least 35 shades. I'm sure a lot of you have tried these. So this is a liquid lipstick. They have a lot of different collections. I just saw online that they have a coffee collection, which is I need that right now. It's a really nice formula. You really need like an oil to take this off and this will stay on the entire day. I'm going to use a little bit of liner. You really don't need to use a lip liner with this if you don't want to because this has an arrow applicator so it has a point so it's pretty easy to use. I actually have three different shades of this. I do use all of them but this one is my most used one. This looks like a nude pink on camera, but in real life it does have a little bit of a peachy undertone. I like this because it goes with so many different makeup looks. I think it's just because it's such a neutral shade. This is also the longest lasting lipstick I've ever used. 
this formula is a little bit sticky. If you don't like that sticky feeling, you could even just pat a little bit of translucent powder on top. This product doesn't layer that well, so I can go and put another layer on, which I really don't need to because it's very opaque. If I eat something oily and it has kind of disrupted my lipstick, I like to take this off completely and then just apply it again. It just looks way better that way. This is also a little bit drying, so if you have really dry lips, you probably don't want this. This is definitely my go-to for work days because it does last the whole day. Next up is Morphe Lip Gloss in Freebird. The Morphe glosses are 10 pounds or $9. They are 4.5 milliliters or 0.15 fluid ounces. They are available in 26 shades. This is a really neutral, sort of taupey brown color. This is actually the least sticky of all my lip glosses that I have. This has a super glossy finish and they have both cream and shimmer finishes. This one is a cream. I think Freebird goes really well with this sweet tea lip liner. This is probably my favorite formula of lip glosses at the moment. It has like a little bit of a scent to it, maybe it's like a vanilla, I'm not really sure what it is, but it smells good and it's not like overpowering. If you compare this with the Maybelline one, Maybelline is definitely more of a sort of mauve pinky, like a dusty pink color, and the Morphe one is a little bit more brown. Also this Morphe lip gloss is not as opaque as the Maybelline one. Unlike the Maybelline lip gloss, this one actually stays glossy for a long time. This is really lightweight on the lips. Of all the lip glosses that I have, I do use this one the most. It's the most comfortable formula. This next product is also from Morphe. It is their matte lipstick in Wifey. This is 12 pounds or $10. And with that, you get 3.5 grams of product or 0.12 ounces. It's available in 10 shades and also in two other finishes. I have to say I really like the Morphe packaging. It's so sleek and I like that it's all black. This shade, Wifey, is a nude pink. I'm going to apply a little bit of a lip liner. Because this is a matte finish, it's a little bit sort of... not gritty, but it's not super creamy to apply. But once it's on, it is very, very comfortable. It does feel like a normal satin finish cream lipstick. So this is Morphe's matte formula. They also have a cream and a mega matte formula. I do normally use liquid lipsticks because it lasts longer or if I don't need it to last long or if I have drier lips I always use lip glosses. So I don't use normal bullet lipsticks like this that often but of all my bullet lipsticks this is my most worn one. This one is really pigmented, you don't need to swipe it a million times, just one swipe is enough. It's very comfortable on, and if you're someone who just likes these kind of bullet lipsticks, I would definitely give this one a try. The next product is by The Balm. It is their Meet Matthews Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Charming. The full size version of this is 15 pounds or $17. It's 7.4 milliliters or 0.26 fluid ounces. It comes in 18 shades. I only have the mini size because this came in a pack of six and I just wanted to sort of try it because I hadn't tried this before. It's in the name, they are matte finish. This is a non-sticky long-lasting formula. It's a vanilla mint scent and it smells so good. It has a little bit of a cooling effect which I'm sure is the mint. I feel like the formula is a little bit thick, like I can feel that I have the lipstick on my lips, but it's not so thick that it would bother me. This shade is just one of my all-time favorites. I really rarely wear like a bright red lip, so whenever I feel like I want a little bit more of a brighter or a bolder lip, I always use this one. It is not as long-lasting as the Maybelline one. I've used this at work before, so it does last at least 8 hours. I just really love this color. I used to use this like every single day. My favorite things about this is definitely the color. The fact that it lasts a long time and also the scent. This next product is my most used liquid lipstick. It's the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Celebrity Skin. This is a soft brown nude with a peachy undertone. This is 16 pounds or $18. With that you get 5.4 milliliters of product or 0.19 ounces. There's definitely like at least 50 shades of this. 
Of all the liquid lipsticks that I mentioned today, this is the most comfortable formula. It is so thin on your lips, you literally don't feel like you're wearing anything. It's not really drying at all, which I think is pretty rare in liquid lipsticks. It has this interesting doe food applicator. It is almost like a regular doe food applicator, but it has like a little bit of a step to it, or like a curve. Um, which really sort of hugs the lip when you apply it. Also, something that I really like about this is that it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's also paraben and gluten free. This is really opaque and I like that you only need one layer. Again, this would last me the whole day at work. This really isn't a sticky formula either, it's just a very, very comfortable liquid lipstick. This dries completely matte, as you can see. This is my favorite shade of any liquid lipstick that I've ever used and also my favorite formula. Okay, we got two more. Next is Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm in Super Strawberry. This is 18, 15 both pounds and in dollars. It's 3 grams or 0.10 ounces. It comes in 16 shades. It does have a point when you buy it, but you know, I've just used this so much that mine is just flat. This is the only product of all of these that I've actually repurchased. This is my second one. So whenever I really like a lipstick, I normally try to use it kind of sparingly so that it lasts me a long time. But I think once I run out of these things that I've talked about today, I will probably repurchase at least half of them. This is basically a tinted lip balm. This is normally what I use if I'm like running late or something and I want to look kind of put together. It's obviously super moisturizing. This is super easy to apply, you don't really even need a mirror, you just go. And you're done. It is a sheer color, but I really like this as a lip balm. It's super hydrating, it's formulated with mango and shea butters. I don't have a lot to say about this. I love Clinique, it's one of my all-time favorite brands. I love these chubby sticks. I really, really, really want to try their um, chubby stick, those blushes and like bronzers that they have. They look so amazing. I really just wish I could get like every single color of this. It's so good. And the last one. And the most expensive one of all of these is this Lancome Lapsulu Lacquer in Be Unique. I only have the mini version. 25 pounds or 26 dollars. 8 milliliters or 0.27 ounces of product. And it comes in at least 29 shades. It has buildable shine and color. It is long wear. It says up to six hours, which I think is true. At least this one is a very bright color, so it does leave at least like a tint to the lips. This is super lightweight. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips. It has a high shine lipstick finish. This is moisturizing and you can use this on dry lips. As you can see, this is almost like a neon color. This is so bright. I normally use this when I do like gradient lips, so I only use it in the center part of my lips. I'm gonna use three layers of this today. I'm gonna show you after each layer what it looks like. This is a really unique formula. I have never tried anything like it. It's almost when you put it on, it's like hard to move. You know, like you start here and then you feel like it's you can't move it. Um, but it also means that it's gonna last you a really long time. This is just one layer and it does look really patchy. So that's why I only use it normally in the center and I do this. And now it's a little bit more even. I'm gonna apply another layer. The applicator in this is actually really good. It has a very sort of sharp point and it's really easy to sort of even line your lips with this. I think I've heard other people say before they don't like this because the formula is a little bit patchy and you do have to kind of work it a little bit, which honestly I don't think you should with the price point that it has, but it is so pretty and I don't think I would ever get like a nude shade of this. I like that it's super bright so I don't use it that often because it is expensive. This is very high shine. This is almost like a weirdly formulated liquid lipstick that has a shine like a lip gloss and it stays on like a tint. Let's do a third layer. With the three layers actually it does look even now. It's not patchy anymore. First and second layers were you know, they were a little bit patchy, but third layer, 
not patchy anymore it's also like a lot shinier it literally looks like a lip gloss but yeah it's a really pretty color really fun for the summer too like i said i use this often but every time if i want something like different or something fun i always use this one i hope you like this video i do get asked all the time about product recommendations so i thought this kind of video might be a good idea if you like this favorites video then please give it a thumbs up so i know to make more favorites videos let me know your favorite lipsticks in the comments down below i would love to try some new products if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one bye